good day to all we had seen the article master creation so even though we didn't see it explicitly we had seen it through the uh, testing of the merchandise category creation once we had created the merchandise category we had seen uh, how to create an article based on this merchandise category in the due process we had seen creation of a single article and a variant article so we know the difference basically between a single article and a generic article single article is like it doesn't have any variant whereas a generic article is um, as it's structurally the same article but it differs from each other by means of the characteristics like color size and other thing in other words it is the same shirt irrespective of whether the color is white black or blue it the it is the same material shirt but differs from each other only through the variants so we need not create a separate ma article master for a white shirt or black shirt and blue shirt instead you can create a generic article as shirt and you can create the variants for a black shirt a white shirt and a blue shirt so the variant will be differentiated by the article number followed by the three digit three digit for each variant okay so there are other type of articles also <coughs> we have uh, display we have prepack we have structured article we have sales set how to create those materials we'll see here the transaction code is pretty much the same mm41 trading goods okay I'm going to create a prepack. Prepack material is a set of material that should belong to a same merchandise category. And the components of that should be the variant of other generic articles. So there are two prerequisites. One is that it should be the same merchandise category. And second thing, it should be the, the component should be the variants of other, uh, other generic articles. Okay. For example, when you are buying uh, socks, you can have uh, socks of multiple colors in a single pouch. Okay, that is the kind of one when you are going for buying for briefs you are having a set of uh, it, it's, it's normally a pack of five briefs or three briefs of different colors and same size okay that could be one or sometimes it could be like you have this uh, gym kit so you have the gloves and you have a small towel and a small fitness band all put together in a single packet okay so these are all some examples of the prepacks prepack is normally done at the vendor level itself okay so you have a separate number for a prepack and you can raise a purchase order for this prepack and receive the material as a prepack material Okay. So to create a prepack, all you have to do is like find Let me take the components. I have already created a few materials which I want to use it for 10045. 10045 and let it be a piece of uh, sorry, pack of four. Okay, so it's a medium size, right? So I am removing all the other things. 
medium white medium black medium blue so let me remove these stuffs the yeah, specified total should be three and the component is one 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 and the rest of the materials article data is pretty much the same <coughs> so it is going to be let me say 10 euros per each and the sales price is calculated as 20 the other details are the same one So we have created this material now let us create a purchase order for this and see how it is being handled at the purchase order level as well as in the stock maintenance okay let me create a purchase order using me 21 n So this is our newly created material, 57, 100 pieces. I am buying it in the DC. So in this purchase order, the material is not exploded. Even though you have maintained it as a component, the material has not exploded as the sub items. So now let me create a inbound delivery for this. Slash mbl 31 n Okay, now let us check the stock MMBE one zero zero we received in W zero zero one. So we have received the material as a pre-packed material itself from the vendor. So which means like when you are buying a material as pre-packed, even though pre-pack is nothing but a combination of the components, when you are updating the inventory, it is updated as the pre-packed material only, the header item, not at the component level. Okay. So this is how we handle the pre-packed materials the other materials we are going to see in the subsequent videos are sales set display and structured articles see you in the next video bye